What's good, YouTube? It's me. Welcome back to my channel. Alright, so yo, so today I'll be doing a QA. This QA has been overdue. More than a month ago, I asked y'all uh, to drop some questions for a QA video, but I did not get to film it. Thank you for everyone who sent questions in. You feel me? I appreciate it. Anyways, y'all, so I know it's been a minute. I wasn't expecting nobody to send me nothing, but I really got a lot of questions, which is. It's crazy, you feel me? Like, it's really crazy. But most of the questions was how am I feeling mentally, you know? And I want to tell y'all that I've been good, you feel me, mentally. Thank you for everyone who's been checking up on me, you know what I'm saying? I know I've been, like, really ghost when it comes to the social media. Like, I've just really been, like, in my own shell, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, when people reach out to me and, you know, y'all check up on me, like, I really, really want to thank y'all, you feel me, for doing that because y'all don't need to, y'all not obligated to, and y'all y'all took time in y'all day, you feel me, to check up on me. So I do really, really appreciate it a lot. I don't know. That just, I don't know. It bring, it makes my heart warm, you feel me? And I hope y'all doing great too, you feel me? But anyways, let's get into this Q&A, real talk, you feel me? If I mispronounce y'all names, my bad. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, don't take it personal or nothing. And y'all know what I'm gonna do. I already know what it is. Real talk. There's a lot of, there's a lot of how are you. Most of my questions was how are you mentally? How's life going? Like most of my questions was that Jordan zero zero dot underscore asked how you been mentally and physically. Mentally, I've been way better than before. I'm not gonna go into detail about my mental, but physically, I'm way better you feel me? i'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all real talk three years ago i was below weight for my height my weight three years ago was around 100 and that was all because of you know my depression i'm the type of person like when i'm depressed i don't eat thankfully i'm mentally good you know what i'm saying because boy like i would yo i would just be starving myself all right next question is See, most of these questions is how are you been? How are you? I love y'all. Next question is from Butter957. No, Butter underscore 957. Are you pregnant because you haven't been active these days? All right, so yo, I am not pregnant. Real talk. I'm not having a baby, y'all. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I had COVID. That's why I was not posting. I thought COVID was gone. I ain't even going to lie to you. But that still here excuse my language but that is still here next question is from shanique underscore johnson are you guys thinking about having babies if yes who would be the carrier i'm not gonna answer that because i feel like that's an us question you know what i'm saying and that's not fair because we have our own you know couples channel you know what i'm saying so that's the us question but i can't answer just half of your question which is are you guys thinking about having babies yes she got no other choice but to have a baby She wants to have a baby, so you know, but I'm just saying, if you didn't want to have one, you don't have one. All right, next question is Why don't we see you in YouTube days? Sending love from Kenya. Shout out to Kenya, you feel me? I'm gonna keep it a bug, yo. I, I ain't been motivated at all. Before COVID, like, I had this whole thing where I wanted to post and I had some video ideas that I wanted to post and all that. But then COVID came and it just, like, I don't know. It's like whenever I feel motivated, something always happens. You know what I'm saying? It's like maybe I'm not meant to, like, do YouTube. But I'm gonna still post. All right, next question is what goals have you set for yourself? five years time all right so boom i'm not gonna say all my goals so definitely one of my goals is to definitely to have two three kids uh move out of vegas we bouncing out of vegas before we have kids like i'm telling you right now vegas is not the place for kids it's just too much like i don't need to be driving my family around you know what i'm saying and then passing billboards of making you feel me and also like being really fit not saying that i'm 
not fit and I'm unhealthy. I'm really healthy, but I need to just take the gyms more serious, I feel like. Is this a bunny or bony? I think it's mine. I think it's mine. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. You've been MIA, what are you up to now? And do you plan on continuing YouTube? Of course I do, man. I never quit or anything, y'all. You feel me? It's just, you know, life. So yeah, alright. Next question is, I don't even know how to pronounce your name, and I'm not gonna try, cause I feel like I'm embarrassing myself. All right, what makes a healthy relationship last long? I'ma say definitely uh, communication. Communication is really important. I know everybody says this, but it's a fact. You gotta know how to talk to that person, you know, how they operate, in, you feel me? What they don't like, what they like, Loyalty, loyalty's the top shit for me. Jalen, like, Jalen is like the first person, like, she's the first relationship that, like, we ain't even take no breaks, no none of that. You know, what I mean? it's like it's like we in the ocean and we in a boat. Our boat is like the relationship. You feel me? And like, we're just we just going. I'm saying like we ain't never been like oh. We single, like, oh, like, that's my first relationship that, like, we didn't even break up or nothing, like, you know what I'm saying? Not for a week, not for a month, not for a day, not for a second, like, we just, just been going on. It's crazy. So definitely loyalty, you know, it ties with faithfulness as well, you feel me? And no arguments, like, arguments is a dub that makes a healthy relationship. No arguments, communication, because if y'all communicate, if y'all have a disagreement and y'all communicating, that shit ain't gonna turn into an argument. Shout out to Jalen, man, for being real. Nicole asks, what do you do for distraction when you're not okay? When I'm not okay, I listen to music, I go to the gym, work out, or I go to sleep. Like, if I'm not okay, like, you'll catch me sleeping a lot. Next question is, how long y'all gonna live in LA? We don't live in LA, we live in Las Vegas now. Raw hates life, X. What had changed in your life since 2020 till now? Uh, definitely my mental, the way I move, you feel me? I feel like the things that were important, you know, to me before, they ain't important to me now. I'm smack, y'all. No funny shit, I feel like ever since I got that bitch COVID, like, bro, I feel like my lungs is different, bro. Like, I can't even smoke the same. Like, do y'all hear my voice right now? 99 die Audrey as next place you want to travel to. So I'm just easy, man. New York. I feel like I got to go visit my family, you know what I'm saying? Like, next question is... MTP underscore underscore ST asks how many blunts you smoke a day. Love from the UK. I love the UK. Real talk. Shout out to the UK. I feel like it just all depends on what I gotta do that day. You feel me? And how I'm feeling that day. You feel me? But if I got a lot to do, three. But if I'm chilling and not doing nothing that day and just watch TV and shit, um, probably be like 10. Next question is from She Loves Alex. Have you thought about dyeing the tips of your hair? I think a lighter brown will look fire. I did do that a few years ago. I'll put some pictures here, you know. Um, I really like that hairstyle, you know. I was thinking about doing it again because I did cut my hair recently, but I might do it again. I kind of miss my hair that way. My hair is mad wet. That's why my fro is like going down. I gotta let it dry up. All right, next question is, what's up fam? How are y'all? Shout out to uh, Bam, it's an OG, real talk. So shout out to you. But we doing great. And we hope that you doing great too. So when I was sick, y'all, I wasn't I wasn't smoking at all, you feel me? So I feel like my tolerance level is like, that shit. Next question is, uh, where do you find the love of your life? It's a what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. They said, where do you find the love of your life? That's on Amazon, question mark. It's very ghetto out here with no options. 
All right, so boom. So I feel like you find the love of your life by not looking, right? You feel me? Cause, Cause you can't be forcing nothing. You feel me? If that's the love of your life, you ain't force that shit, bro. That's the force love. <laughs> Like, you forcing love, you feel me? If you forcing that shit, that shit ain't gonna come to you, bro. Like, if it's forced, it ain't real. You know what I'm saying? So just let let the universe, you know, do its thing. Let it bring y'all together, you feel me? You feel me? Don't be forcing nothing, bro. Like, or sis. Listen, just focus on yourself. You know what I'm saying? So you can be the best version of you to your love of your life. You know what I'm saying? Because you over here forcing shit, you ain't even focusing on yourself. You probably got, like, not mad flaws, but things that you got to work on. You know what I'm saying? So you don't bring that shit to your relationship. And you know what I'm saying? Just, just do you. Just do you. And that person will come. This is an OG right here. It's just you. Ace Jusky asks, will you ever get ways? Hell yeah. I would. But I don't know, though. Actually, let me change my mind. Because I feel like I got a small head. I don't know. That's a good question, though. Maybe if my head gets bigger. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Young KJ, this is another OG. Uh, they ask, what's your favorite international dish that, that you've had? Question mark. Love you, bro. Love you, too, bro. So my favorite, my favorite international dish would have to be my grandma's rice and beans. Um, I feel like that counts because she's from DR, you know what I'm saying? And she's a Dominican cooking, you feel me? So she's making a Dominican dish, you feel me? So, boom. Zara asked, how tall are you? I'm 5'7", ain't shit. I gotta get something to drink, y'all. Like, I got mad cut in my phone, bro. Like, this shit crazy. A lot of questions was, what have I been doing this whole time? Like, y'all, I just been just staying to myself in my own shell. Ever since quarantine, I feel like I, be I became mad antisocial. Like, OD. I don't even know why I started talking about this. <laughs> why did I start talking about this, man? What was that real? Let's just continue. Next question is, how long have you been having that tattoo on your hand? So this is a tattoo on my hand, y'all. It's a money rope. Like at first it looked like this, but now it looks like this. So that's good, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it was looking mad naked before. My boy Matt Mike, he fixed it. Shout out to him, real talk. I ain't even answer the questions and I was gonna move on. Like I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> So, how long have I had the tattoo? I've had it since, I think, 2017. Not not Audrey asks, would you get another tattoo? If so, what would it be? Of course, hold on. Hold on. First of all, y'all, I ain't even gonna stop getting tattoos until my whole body is inked up. I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. I mean, most of it, though. I love tattoos. I want a lot of tattoos. My next tattoo is gonna be on my shin. That shit gonna hurt. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but I want it to represent where I'm from. You feel me? I'm from New York. I love my city. What the fuck are you telling me? All right, y'all. I think I'm done with this q and I'm gonna end this video. You feel me? I'm smack. And I've been recording for 50 minutes now. Y'all probably not gonna see 50 plus minutes because I've been bullshitting this whole time. <laughs> I love you guys. I love y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. See you guys in the next video.